go through some advanced features with the voicemail. Let's say that you have a message, and the message is really better served by going to somebody else. For example, on Kim's phone, what we'll do is we'll go to the Messages button, and there's an old message here that wasn't quite for her. She's going to listen to it. Let's see. We'll play it. Hi, Kim. Um, maybe Bill could answer this, too, but what time is the company meeting tomorrow? Okay, so that's really, really meant for Bill. So what we're going to do is do more, and then copy, and then we're going to record a little message so we can say something to Bill. Hey, Bill, I think this message is for you. Okay, why don't you handle it? Stop. Let's. We have to play it once. Hey, Bill, I think this message is for you. Okay, why don't you handle it? Okay, that'll work. And then we have to press send to. Then we put in Bill's extension number, 202. And then add it so that on the line it displays the whole thing. And then we can add other people if we want. But what we're going to do is we're just going to press the send button now. And now it's sent over there. You notice Bill's light goes on. We can press his button. We can listen to it. Press new. Play. Hey, Bill, I think this message is for you. Okay, why don't you handle it? Hi, Kim. Um, maybe Bill could answer this too, but what time is the company meeting tomorrow? Okay, so that's how we got a message over to Bill. We'll get back to our home pages on both. Another thing we'll demonstrate is forwarding directly into someone's voicemail. Let's say you get a call, and they don't really want to be bothered by this person, but you thought you'd put it into their voicemail so they can look at it or listen to it whenever they want to. Okay, we'll call into the main system. Oh, hi. Oh, yeah, you want to talk to Bill? Okay, well, I, I think he's busy right now, so I'm just going to put you into his voicemail, okay? All right, so what we do is we press the message button, and then we press the extension we want it to go to, 202, then we press select. Now you can hear the phone that I called on. It's ringing. You have reached the desk of Bill Merle. Please leave it's me going a right into Thank his you. voicemail box. Hey, Bill, we're a telemarketer. We'd like to sell you some office supplies. Bye. There goes Bill's light. We'll get over to it real quick. Give it a quick listen. Uh, what is this? Hey, Bill, we're a telemarketer. We'd oh, like to sell my you goodness. Some Delete it right away. That's all. Your company might have a general delivery mailbox so that if the operator were busy or it's nighttime or whatever, the calls would go to the general delivery mailbox. Usually the operator has the opportunity to see those messages come in. Her light will light up, but also it will be lit up for her own personal messages as well. The general delivery voicemail lives under the message button along with her regular messages. The important thing to note here is that listen and greeting, as well as message, pertains to her personal messages, whereas the main is the name of the group. And if we scroll down to that and press main, you'll see that there's a new old and saved as it is. Well, and that's for the general delivery voicemail. But if we did listen, you'll get the new old and saved, and that's her personal extension mailbox. Now, to initially set up the voicemail, the general delivery voicemail. To initially set up the general delivery voicemail, enter star 17. Please enter your mailbox number. The mailbox for this particular group is 200. Please enter your passcode. The pass, the, the default password is 1379 typically. You have no new messages. To record a new when greeting, a message, to delete the message, press 4. To save the message, press 5. For forwarding options, press 6. To repeat the message, press 7. To skip the message, press 9. To hear your greeting message, press 1. We press to 3 to get message, to your greeting. Press 2. To so we're going to change it. Start speaking after the tone and press 2 when you have finished recording. Press 2 when finished. Hi, this is XYZ Company's General Delivery Mailbox. Please leave your name and number after the tone. Thank you. To hear your greeting message, press 1. Hi, this is XYZ Company's General Delivery Mailbox. Please leave your name and number after the tone. Thank you. To hear your greeting message, press 1. To change your greeting message, press 2. To save your greeting message, press 3. You must save press 3. Otherwise, it will not be into the system. To your 
greeting message, press 1. Now it's in there. To change your greeting message, press 2. To save your greeting message, press 3. So now the greeting is in there. What we can do is we can call the general we can call the main number and wait for it to go to the general delivery mailbox and we'll try to retrieve a message that way. Let's call it. I'd like some information on ordering 1,000 widgets. Please call me when you get a chance. This is John at 477-7852. Bye. So now notice that the mailbox indicator has come on, both on the top of the phone and the message light. Let's press the message light. You'll notice that the only one that has a new message, which is the first column, is the main group. If we highlight the main group, we can press New. New is already selected. Press Select and then Play. Yes, I'd like some information on ordering 1,000 widgets. Please call me when you get a chance. This is John at 477 We went back and we can play it over yes, again. Yes, I'd like some information on ordering... Pause just like before. On ordering 1,000 widgets. Please call me when and you get delete a chance. it. And that's how we get our general delivery voicemails out of the system. We go back, and we notice we deleted it. There's nothing left. There's only one in her personal voicemail here, and that's still available. Let's clear that out. Hi, Kim. Um, maybe Bill could answer this, too, but 